Good evening and welcome to the Town of Auburn Planning Board meeting on Tuesday, September 22nd. The preliminary reading that I must do is to confirm the member access. As a preliminary matter, this is John Regan, Chair of the Auburn Planning Board. Permit me to confirm that all members and persons anticipated on the agenda are present and can hear me. Members, when I call your name, please respond in the affirmative. Ron Brooks. Gets connected. Uh, Nicholas Lynch. Present. Steve Chambers. Steve Chambers. He's just coming on now. Okay. And Todd Karain. Present. Welcome, Todd. Thank you. Ron, are you on yet? And Steve, are you on? Chambers is on. Well, maybe Ronnie will catch up. Town official and employees participating, when I call your name, please respond in the affirmative. Town planner Adam Menard. Here. Staff assistant Rachel Pressey. Here. Okay, Darlene is not here tonight. The introduction to our remote meeting. This open meeting of the Town of Auburn Planning Board of Tuesday, September 22nd, 2020, now called to order at 7 p.m. This meeting is being conducted remotely, consistent with Governor Baker's executive order of March 12, 2020, due to the current state of emergency in the Commonwealth due to the outbreak of the COVID-19 virus. In order to mitigate the transmission of the COVID-19 virus, we have been advised and directed by the Commonwealth to suspend public gatherings, and as such, the Governor's order suspends the requirement of the open meeting law to have all meetings in a publicly accessible physical location. Further all, further, all members of public bodies are allowed and encouraged to participate remotely. The order, which you can find posted with agenda materials for this meeting on the town's website, allows public bodies to meet entirely remotely so long as reasonable public access is afforded so that the public can follow along with the deliberations of the meeting. For this meeting, the Planning Board is convening by remote participation for the public only. Although some members of the Planning Board are physically located in the Selectman's Meeting Room and Town Hall, those members and employees are practicing social distancing in accordance with the Governor's orders. For, for the public to join the meeting remotely by telephone, call 1-312-757-3121. And enter access code 133-747-477. Or the public can join via computer at the gotomeeting.com backslash join backslash 1374-7477. The remote access information has been posted on the town's website at identifying how the public may join. Please note that this meeting is being recorded by the Auburn Cable Television. Accordingly, those members of the Planning Board, employees and members of the public who participate, please be aware that other folks may be able to see you and please take care not to sh screen share your computer. Anything that you broadcast may be captured by the recording. Moving on to meeting materials. All supporting materials have been provided to members of this body are available on the town's website. The public is encouraged to follow along using the posted agenda. Ground rules. We are now turning to the first item on the agenda. Before we do so, permit me to cover some ground rules for effective and clear conduct of our business and to ensure accurate meeting minutes. I, Chair of the Board, will introduce each speaker on the agenda. After they conclude their remarks, the Chair will go down the line of members, inviting each by name to provide any comment, questions, or motions. Please hold until your name is called. Please remember to speak clearly and in a way that helps generate accurate minutes. For any response, please wait until the Chair yields the floor to you and state your name before speaking. If members wish to engage in discussion with other members, please do so through the Chair, taking care to identify yourself. After members have spoken, the Chair will afford public comment as follows. The Chair will first ask members of the public who wish to speak, identify their names and addresses only. Once the Chair has a list of all public commentators, I will call on each by name and afford three minutes for any comments. Finally, each vote taken in this meeting will be conducted by roll call vote. 
If technical difficulties arise, I will suspend the meeting while attempts to resolve, make resolutions are made. So moving right along. First up on our agenda is the A&R for Julia Bancroft School, 3 Vinyl Street. Is anyone here from Penrose? Yes, thank you, Chairperson um, and members of the board. Um, my name is uh, Carmen Chong. I'm representing Penrose, uh, the developer for Julia Bancroft School. Um, and it's actually very exciting for us to be at this stage um, because this whole process started three years ago when the town put out um, the Julia Bancroft School under RFP and selected Penrose to redevelop this into a senior mixed income housing project. I didn't your question. Um, and uh, right now we are presenting this in our plan for approval in order to create a separate lot for the Julia Bancroft parcel because during the RFP has always envisioned that the town would remain the owner of the ball field and playground as adjacent to the Julia Bancroft school and Penrose would take ownership of just the school portion um, but the parking lot and um, take title of that to redevelop it. Um, right now, we're actually getting ready to um, put a shovel in the ground sometime early next year, which is why we're presenting this in front of the board now in order to create a separate block for the Julie Bancroft School. Um, and it's, so the boundaries for the lot for the Julie Bancroft School, lot one, follow what is presented in the RFP very closely. Um, the only deviation from what was in the RFP is that during the course of due diligence, we also discovered that um, there was an encroachment from the butter on Boy Street. Um, so in order to allow the town to um, converse and discuss and have adequate time to discuss with the not be tied up with kind of the redevelopment schedule. Uh, we've carved out a triangular portion as a non-buildable lot um, that the town will remain the owner of. Um, so both non-buildable lots uh, shown on the ANR plan will remain uh, owned by the town, um, and it's only lot one that will uh, be the parcel that will be conveyed to Penrose as a part of the redevelopment um, plan. Um, and I'm happy to take any questions. Does anybody on the uh, board have questions? Nick, do you have a question? Yeah, through the chair. I just, so just to clarify, uh, lot two is the one that will be conveyed to the town, right? Lot two will remain owned by the town, correct? Okay. Okay. Thank you. Steve, do you have any questions? No, I don't. Thank you. Do you have any questions? Uh, no, I don't. Thank you. And Ron Brooks, are you on yet? Yes. Okay. Do you have any questions, Ron? No questions, John. No questions, Ron? No questions. Okay. Uh, could I have a motion to approve the A&R? I'll make the motion to I have a second? All those in favor? Nicholas Lynch? Aye. Ron Brooks? Aye. Steve Chambers? Aye. Todd Corain? Aye. And myself as an aye, it is a vote. Just, just a reminder, John, to, to, the, to the board, um, these A&R plans will need to be signed in person. Um, just, just the board members can make their way to town hall at some point next week or so. I'll be appreciated. Yeah, a lot of times they'll have them out in the uh, kiosk if you need them to be out there, don't they? Yes. So um, what are the hours of the kiosk? Uh, 8 to 4, Monday through Thursday, and 8 to 1 on Fridays. Okay. And if they have any problems, they can just give you a quick buzz and yes. set something up yep. like I have before. Correct. Moving right along, we have an applicant, Eastland Partners Incorporated, request for site plan approval under section 3.2.2.1 and 5.4 of the Auburn Zoning Bylaw for a two-family dwelling, a property located at 28-30 Albert Street, Auburn, Mass, map 65, par parcel 70. This has been continued from 9-8-2020. Uh, Is there anyone from Eastland Partners here tonight?
Have they requested a continuous ad, a continuance, Adam? I have not heard from them today. Um, I, think I presume they're going to want to continue. They're still working on the 40B project that impacts this particular lot. Um, still working on the drainage aspect. Could I have a motion to um, reschedule this for the next meeting? This is Nick. I'll make that motion to reschedule this until the next meeting. Could I have a second? Steve Chambers, I'll second. All those in favor, I'll call you by name. Nicholas Lynch. Aye. Ron Brooks. Aye. Steve Chambers. Aye. Todd Corain. And myself, I, it is a vote. The so next item on the uh, agenda is applicant SZLL Realty LLC, a definitive subdivision plan for a 13 lot single family home development of property located at 170, 178 Hampton Street and 19 Eaton Ave, map 12, parcel 120. I believe they've asked for a continuance. Correct. So no one has any objections. Could I have a motion to continue this to the next meeting? I'll make that motion, John. It's Ronnie Brooks. Thank you, Ron. Could I have a second? Steve Chambers will second. Thank you, Steve. All those in favor, as I call your name, Nicholas Lynch. Aye. Ron Brooks. Aye. Steve Chambers. Aye. Todd Corain. Myself with an eye, it is a vote. Moving on to other business. Adam, you said we have something for yeah. discussion? Or yes, we um, probably could have covered this under the A&R. Um, Pemno's properties, um, if you recall, requested a waiver of the, the A&R fee for the Mary D. Stone School, which this board granted. They were asking for the waiver to the Julia Bancroft School um, for their permitting fee as well. It would come to about $350 for the permit fee. Um, it's a board's pleasure what they like to do with that. And we voted to pass it up on the last one, correct? For correct, they waived the fee in the last project. Okay, can I have a motion to waive the fee for Julia Bancroft? This is Nick, I'll make that motion. May I have a second? Steve Chambers, second. All those in favor? Nicholas Lynch? Aye. Ron Brooks? Aye. Steve Chambers? Aye. Todd Corain? Aye. Myself was an aye. It is a vote. Are there aren't any decisions, correct, Adam? No decisions. Okay, so moving on to meeting minutes of 8-1, I mean 8-18, 2020. Could I have a motion to approve meetings, uh, minute meetings as submitted? Anyone? I'll make that motion, John. Thank you. Thank you. Chambers, I'll make the motion. Can I have a second, please? I'll second the motion. Thank you, Ron. All those in favor? Nicholas Lynch? Aye. Ron Brooks? Aye. Steve Chambers? Todd Corain. Abstain. Myself was an aye. It is a vote. Moving on to meeting minutes of 9 8 2020. May I have a motion to approve these meeting minutes as submitted? I'll make that motion. I'll make that motion. John, I'd like to make a motion um, as amended. Okay, thank you, Steve. May I have a second? This is Nick. I'll, I'll uh, be a second. All those in favor? Nicholas Lynch? Aye. Ron Brooks? Aye. Steve Chambers? Aye. And Todd, you have to abstain again because you weren't here. And myself is an aye. It is a vote. There's no new business unforeseen by the chair, as far as I know. I've got two quick things, John. Um, very brief. Um, there was a complaint made to DDIS regarding the Minstead Office Park uh, about a week ago. It was asked that I bring it to the board's attention. Just uh, they apparently replaced some of the lighting at the office park, and it's been 
presumably shining on some of the neighbors' um, yards. We're going to try to uh, determine this and handle this internally at DDIS before it becomes a further issue to bring it before the board. Is this new lighting that they just put up? Uh, new light bulbs. I don't know if they changed LEDs or, or what, but... The LEDs have a less broad span of light. Yeah, so we're going to try to address that internally before it becomes a another issue. Okay, and if it becomes an issue? Then we would normally um, ask the, the owner, the property manager, or maybe to come before the board to try to rectify the situation. Because they can't have a light on anybody else's property. Correct. Um, so that's that one thing. Again, we'll try to resolve that. Um, and the other thing is um, something that dawned on me this morning. Uh, with the absence of Scott Wren into his new position, he was a delegate to CMRPC. Um, we will need a new delegate to CMRPC. Um, it doesn't have to be today. We can wait until Wendy is available. But um, it's important that somebody represents the town at those meetings. I'd like to wait till the next one. Uh, Adam, how many delegates do we have? We have three delegates and one alternate. Okay, so I, I know I am a delegate. You're a delegate. Rachel. Yep. Correct, and Sean. So are, are we, Sorry, are we looking for an alternate? Um, either, well, we, we can ask. Um, let me think about that because it should be somebody from the planning planning board, somebody else if possible. It is um, the, the commission is a planning commission, so ideally they prefer to have planning board members. But um, the, the alternate Shen Regan is an economic development coordinator. I can kind of see what if she wants to move on up or if she wants to stay an alternate. Yeah, we can wait till the next meeting for that. Wait till the next meeting. See what is interested. Correct. That's all I have. Is there anything else that we need to bring up before the board tonight? I think that's it for tonight. Anyway, I have a motion to adjourn. Steve Chambers, I'll make that motion. We have a second. I'll second it, John. All those in favor? Nicholas Lynch? Aye. Aye. Ron Brooks? Aye. Steve Chambers? Todd Corain. Aye. And myself, I. It is a vote. Thank you all for attending. Have a great night.